Hi, I'm Jennifer York. I am a full-time artist whose exhibit just finished here at the Myrtle Beach Art Museum. I'm back here to judge this year's high school art competition. I'm thrilled to be here. The work has been incredible. We had more than 350 entries from 10 schools and only 91 of those were accepted. The exhibition encompasses quite an array of media by high school students. Uh, in 2D, we have pen and ink, charcoal, painting, photography, and digital media. And in 3D, we have sculpture, sewing, 3D mixed media, and ceramics, and more. This year of 3D artworks was especially spectacular. For 3D honorable mention, we have Zara Saldariaga with Felicite. Third place, goes to Isabella Broussard for Engulfed. Second place goes to Michael Tran for China's Overpopulation. And first place goes to Keegan Brown for In the Dark. I especially love Keegan's dress being a designer myself. She did an incredible job sewing and also using the bat as an inspiration for her piece. Congratulations, Keegan. And now I'd like to present the awards for this year's 2D artworks. For honorable mention, Anna Grace Hunter with Foggy Mountains. Third place, Hayden Stager with Hunter Bear. Second place goes to Lakeland Phillips for Richard. And first place goes to Sally Pham for Ripples of Idealism. I really liked Sally's uh, incredible illustration as well as her playing with the imagery of her own likeness with the purple hair on the phone. Tom and I look forward to this exhibition every year when we come down to Myrtle Beach. I understand math, science, and technologies are very important, but at the same token, arts and humanity is just as important, especially at this time for our community and society. In addition to all the beautiful art that we see every year, um, I'm always equally amazed by how much of an emotional connection there is between the high school artists and the beautiful art that they put out. Uh, I don't think I found any type of a connection uh, at that age uh, in, in my life as they have to their fine artwork. And at this time, I would like to give a shout out to all the parents and especially the art teachers in each of these high school and I'm sure they put in a lot of time and a lot of sacrifices also to encourage the development of these wonderful artists. Studies show that exposing you to the arts can build confidence, compassion, and creativity. These characteristics lay a strong foundation for not only their future, but for the future of our community. Conway Medical Center is honored to support local students in the 23rd Annual Student Art Show. Every one of you should be proud of the pieces you've submitted and the work you are doing to promote the arts in your school, classrooms, and communities. The Art Museum has a few special awards that I'm thrilled to present. Best Photograph goes to Jordan Riley for Away. And the Beth Eakins Memorial Award, the Judge's Choice Award, goes to Emma Mosley for Ups and Downs. I especially loved this piece, not only because she did an incredible illustration with a strong graphic quality, but it also speaks to the ups and downs that we go through as humans. Hi, I'm Tom Goodrich, and I'm here to uh, present the uh, Rising Star Award uh, for the student competition. And Willie Tozy from North Myrtle Beach High School's work, Midnight Walks, uh, Color pencil drawing is fantastic, and I do believe that uh, you know it's a well representation of the uh, fantastic work that all of the students and the staffs have uh, put together for uh, this year's competition. And again, 
Congratulations to Willie. And now for the biggest award of the show, I am thrilled and honored to present Jaden McBride with the best of show for Empty. This piece really captures the American high school experience of riding the bus. I could relate to it. It brought me back to those days. And also it's an incredible illustration. Congratulations, Jaden. As a lifelong artist, I remember my own entries into regional art shows, getting in, maybe get an award, plenty of times not having either. So I wanna congratulate all the student artists who got work into this show. It's a really amazing achievement. And of course, congratulations to our winners as well. As a juror, I got to pick my favorite piece and I encourage you to come out and do the same thing Vote for your choice in the People's Choice Award. The show is up until May 21st. And see all this incredible work by our region's talented young artists.